What's up, everybody? How's it going? My name is Tyson, and today we're going to be diving into integrations inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Specifically, we'll be covering how to integrate between GetResponse and ClickFunnels, just making it easier for you to be able to manage clients or contacts in the preferred location where you want them to be. So in this case, we're going to show you how to make sure to set up the integration or how, how to make sure that's set up correctly, and also how to actually use it inside of a workflow to send contacts to GetResponse. With that said, let's go ahead and dive on in and get started with this video. Okay, I'm currently inside of ClickFunnels 2.0, starting off on my dashboard here. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on settings in the bottom left hand side of the screen. There we go. Once that loads, go ahead and navigate to integrations, click on it directly, and we'll see an option to connect integration over in the right hand side of the screen, select that. And from there, we'll just head to get response, or you can type it in, you have the option either way. In this case, for me, it appears above the fold. So I'll just click on it directly. Now, from here, what we'll need is the actual API key, this guy right here to actually connect and proceed with this procedure. So in this case, what we need to do is pull over get response, get it over here in the same screen. There we go. Now, from the dashboard here inside of get response, what we need to do is click on the tools option right here at the very top. Now from there, you're going to see an option for integrations and API, click on that. And then from there, we will just need to click on API. And it'll ask us to generate an API key. Now just click on this guy right here. And we'll begin that process. There we go. Uh, we'll give it something to identify it by in this case, we'll just call it uh, click funnels, right? Something that is easy to remember and we understand what we are doing here. Go ahead and generate. And just like that, we now have our API key. All right, all we need to do is copy that and bring it on over to ClickFunnels. So go ahead and just copy this, click on copy. From there, head back to ClickFunnels. Okay, now go ahead and paste in the API code there and click on proceed. And just like that, we are connected. We have another integration. You can see GetResponse is active and connected. Now, in order to be able to use this, all we have to do is add it to a workflow that's attached to a funnel. So wherever you wanna actually send contacts from to GetResponse, we're gonna add a workflow to that and make sure that GetResponse is part of that sequence. So in this case, let's go ahead and head to the funnel that you actually wanna set this up in. Okay, from inside of the funnel, just go ahead and either add a workflow or just go in and edit the existing one that you already have. If you do not have one, that's okay. Just click on the little lightning bolt icon for the specific step where you are actually collecting information uh, inside of this funnel. So if this is the page where people are opting in, that's where you want to make sure that this integration is added or the, uh, the workflow rather. So click on the little lightning bolt icon and from there, click on new workflow. All right, we'll give this a name and we'll call it send contacts to get response. Now from here, go ahead and select the event type, right? Uh, in this case, we gotta scroll down and choose opt-in. All right, now if, it's a, if this is like for an order form and there's a transaction occurring instead of a just a regular opt-in funnel, that's totally fine as well. Just from the drop-down, select order dash successful purchase. All right, or upgrade or downgrade if you're doing an upsell or downsell. But uh, anyways, <laughs> in this case, this is just an opt-in, so we're gonna leave it as is and create workflow. Now, once that loads, we have the trigger in place. We just have to add things to the actual sequence. So in this case, click on the plus icon here, little node there, and scroll down until we see the option for third-party integrations, which is at the very bottom here, right above webhooks. Once you click on that, it's gonna show a little pop-up in the middle of the screen there. Go ahead and select get response in this case, or type it in either way, whatever is easiest for you. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down until I find get response. There we go. Click on that directly, and it's going to allow you to set everything up between your account. Just select that account you actually wanna use. Now, once you have your account selected just like this, go ahead and click on next. All right, from there, we can actually select the action. In this case, you have the option to add to list, you can remove from list, you can add a tag or remove a tag. All right, in this case, I'm gonna to add to a list, just for an example. I have a list already selected, so we'll leave it as is and scroll down and you have to map out the data. So any information that you were collecting on this page that you wanna be able to send over to, to uh, get response in this case, you gotta make sure that it's actually mapped out according to what is set over here on get response. So basically just click on the drop down until you find the corresponding option from ClickFunnels, right? So name, we'll just find the correct name here in this case. We do first name, full name, last name, depending on what you were actually collecting, right? So if you have a full name input field, select full name. There we go. Awesome. If you do have a first name input field on the page, awesome. Select first name. From here, just scroll down and fill in all the other options that you would like to be transferred over, like birth date, city, all this good stuff. You can select and define a value for that here. But anyways, scrolling down, we're going to leave it as is for now. 
and click on next. Now, after that, we are good to go. It's gonna be confirmed and active. All we have to do is click on save, and now we're ready to go, all right? That is it, guys. That's all there really is to it. When it comes to using GetResponse inside of ClickFunnels, you can see it's still propagating, but once it's done, it'll take us to the main overview of the page here. Let's go and just exit out of this. There we go. We have our Get Response integration set up and ready to fire. Now, the only thing you have to do from here is click on the status icon over here to make sure it's live. If this, is, if this is already an active workflow that's already set to live here or the status is turned on, you can leave it as is and you're good to go. Uh, but that's it. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions about anything I've covered today, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I am more than happy to help answer anything or clarify as best I can. Or if you need any help within ClickFunnels 2.0 and you'd like to partner with me specifically, I'd be more than happy to help. I'm certified in every aspect of the platform here. So whether you need help with workflows, automations, integrations, whatever it is, I can help you out. All right. Feel free to use the link in the description below. Give a little bit more information about the project you're working on here and uh, we can get connected. All right. With that said, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.